Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Good. Awesome. Because my, my, um, the pop up just said that my speakers weren't working. So I'm happy to hear that you can hear me. I'm going to get my microphone going. I got to, oh, it's one o'clock already. Hold on. All righty. Welcome. Welcome to Achieve Intentional Transformation. I can see you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Let me get my little bearings going over on my side. I have a new camera, so bear with me, please. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that everything works because I'm recording this so that you can have access to it um, later. So again, uh, the, my name is Dr. Leonie H. Mattison. I always forget that I need to look in the camera. My name is Dr. Leonie H. Mattison, and I want to welcome you to Achieve Intentional Transformation. Um, if you can hear me, I want you to go ahead and type yes, yes in the chat room because I don't want to keep talking and not sure if everyone's hearing me. So type yes, yes in the chat room. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Wonderful. So you can hear me. Okay. So welcome. Um, it is a lovely day in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. I'm on the East Coast. So type in the chat room. I want to know where you're Zooming in from. So go ahead and type in the chat room. I want to know where you're from. Let me see if I can see. Okay. Pennsylvania, Ventura County, Pennsylvania, San Diego. So you're in California. All right. California. Who else? Where are the other folks uh, zooming in from? So go ahead and you can type it in the chat room. I want to know where you come from. And then my other question, I want to know how many people are wearing shoes today? Do you have shoes on? Type it in the chat room if you got your shoes on. I just put mine's on. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I got my shoes on. I put my shoes on. I had to put it on. No. <laughs> That's all right. No problem. I put mine because my feet were feeling a little bit cold in my office here. But um, thank you for sharing that um, with us. So today's session is a little bit different for me. Um, over the last, I was just in 2018, 2019, I've been sharing my work with my community um, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, about this um, concept of being intentional, achieve intentional transformation. And so it's a little bit different because I have improved upon that content. So if you've heard this, um, you've heard me speak before, you'll notice that the content is a little bit different uh, today. And so I su suspect that we're gonna be together maybe around 60 to 75 minutes. I'm gonna shoot for 60 minutes. Um, I see that we have a pretty intimate group. And so um, if you feel comfortable, I invite you to go ahead and uh, turn your cameras on only if you feel comfortable, no pressure, but I'd love to be able to see your um, beautiful faces. Uh, so you can turn your camera on. Um, I guess I said before, no pressure. Um, this will be, it's being recorded so that you and our community of um, survivors and victims and supporters, you know, will have access to this recording later. So we're being recorded. As I said before, feel free at any time to turn your camera on. You can share the, the Zoom link with your um, network at any given point because we are live uh, today. Now, um, you know, I, I also want to thank you for the gift of your time, because I know you've taken some time out of your busy schedule on a Saturday afternoon to be with me. And so I want you to know that I honor the time that you've taken out of your schedule to, to be here. It tells me that uh, transformation is important to you. Either you're on that journey, you're about to get on the journey. Maybe you're in the middle, middle, messy middle of that journey and you're looking for some tools to help you. Well, I'm happy that you're here, whatever, wherever you are on the journey, whatever is going on in your life. I believe that you're destined to be here today and you're here. So thank you so much for showing up. One of the things I always say to um, women, I don't know if we have any men on today. I normally have men, male and female in these sessions. So 
So let me know um, how many females and males we have on today. You can go ahead and share that information if you so feel. Hi, Kim, Kim, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Thanks for sharing your camera. I love that. Um, I'm always curious to know how many males and females we have. So we have um, she, her, okay, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Okay. She, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. We have Stephen. Hi, Stephen. And we have Kimball. Kimball. Hi. Yes. Nice. Welcome. 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 So glad that you're here. All right. Wonderful. So thank you for sharing. Okay. So as we, one of the things I want to say why I ask is I want to remind all of us, because I think sometimes we, we know intuitively and instinctively that we are worthy of achieving those goals and those desires that we have in our hearts. Um, one of, a couple of roadblocks often why we don't get there, it comes sometimes stems from our culture, our experiences like having gone through um, assault, abuse. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about my background in a few. But in this very moment, I want to invite all of us, wherever you are, if you're driving, don't do this. <laughs> but I want to invite all of us to just pause for a moment and to dedicate yourself to just being present, to being here. If you're an empath like myself, we can feel the energy. We know when we are connected and when we're all in. And I just want to invite you, this moment is for you. I want you to be present. I want you to get everything out of this hour or hour and 15 minutes, how long we are together. I want you to get everything out of it because I believe that you're destined to transform others' lives. And so it's so important that when we're in these moments, when we're given the opportunity to offer the gift of our time, that we make use of it. So just be present, be here, and just make that commitment to yourself. It's all that you're gonna be all in because this is for you, okay? So yes, yes. Do I have some commitment from my um, participants today that you're gonna be all in today because you're worthy? Great, and you deserve to achieve intentional transformation. Yes, yes, awesome. And guess what? Transformation, going on that journey, it's a brave decision. You're not a wimp. You're not a wimp. Let me tell you something. If you're on a healing journey, and normally people who I attract are individuals who've been on that healing journey, or they're getting ready to embark upon the journey and they're not sure if they want to go that route. And so the folks who've been on the journey, they're like, I've healed, I'm healed. You know, I've gone through this healing process. I have faced what I've been through. I have acknowledged it. I have, I have forgiven it. I have fixed it. I, I want more, right? I want more. I, you feel like there is more, there's more, there's more, there's more to it than just this. And there is right? So I want you to know that it's a brave move, that you're worthy of it, and you have the power within you right now in this moment. You don't have to go pull it out of nowhere. You don't need to go to a magician. You don't need to go to an astrologer. I'm here to tell you, you have the power within you. And that power is called intentionality. And nobody can take it away from you. You don't need to pay anyone to, uh, you know, to act Activate it is a mindset. And we're going to talk about that today. So my second or third question to the group today, when you hear the word, before I even go there, I'm going to, today we're going to, you have the agenda. And I just want to recap that during our time together, we will discuss the thread, T-H-R-E-A-D. It's a system. It's a tool. It's a practice. And we're gonna use that tool today to help to clarify the outcome you wanna achieve for yourself. So this is an engaging session. I hope you're not driving, but if you are, you can listen later, but we're gonna engage. I'm gonna ask you some questions and I'm gonna ask you to talk back with me. That's why I didn't do a PowerPoint presentation because I want it to be engaging. So the threat system we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at six intentional must ask questions 
that you need to, I mean, own them, get to know them, perfect them, to uncover your decision-making patterns of behaviors and how to intentionally course correct. Then we're going to look at how to release and to break free from unsupportive behaviors and those habits that might impede your transformation or your healing or your rising or your reclaiming your life. We're going to look at a tool that can help you get there. And then we're going to talk about my get intent and get intentional way. I'm going to touch a little bit upon my mentorship program that starts in June, where we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the tool. Right now, it's just an overview. But during the mentorship program, which is a seven weeks program, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into how do we achieve intentional transformation. And we also will look at how to align your daily, your weekly, your monthly, your yearly actions to fulfill that commitment. Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of our session today. So it's an, um, when we talk about it, achieve intentional transformation, my first question around that um, particular topic is to ask you, what are some words that comes to mind for you when you hear the word achieve? Type it in the chat room. When you hear achieve, what do you think that even mean? <laughs> Go ahead and type that in, your, in the chat room. What does achieve mean? What does that, what does that mean to you when you hear that? word achieve achieve success within yourself success mm -hmm. success mm -hmm. success all right great achieve we can look at it from the perspective of um success or we can also look at it from the pers perspective of um to bring about. So success is when you bring about, you have a goal, a desire, and you bring it to pass. So you've succeeded in bringing that to pass. Now, what does intentional mean? What does intentional mean? When you hear the word intentional, what does that mean? What comes to mind for you? Mm -hmm. Purpose-driven, meaning, completion of a goal, Kimball says for um, the first one, okay. With purpose, yes. Mm -hmm. Doing what you set out to do. Yes. Doing what you set out to do, being purposeful, you know, completing that goal, conquering that goal. Now, what does transformation mean then? What comes to mind for you? So uh, achieve is success. Uh, um, in, um, achieve intention is to be purposeful. So then what does transformation, what does that mean? Doing what, what, okay, blooming in a better version of yourself, evolvement, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? What else do you have for me? We evolve and we're blooming. Um, I think of a drastic change, radical shift, right? Changing into who you want to be. Yes, yes, yes. So now you have control. You've taken the bull by the horn and you've taken control in achieving those goals that you want to achieve. Let me close this window here. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Now, if you're new to my work and um, you've never heard me uh, speak before, my name is Dr. Leonie H. Madison. And as I, I, I think I made mention earlier that I am the author of the Thread Collection, the founder of the Thread Movement and the Thread System, as well as an award-winning organizational and talent development practitioner. And I'm a mom and a glamour. I'm not a grandma, I'm a glamour. So uh, what, what's important for you to know also is that I'm a, tra a trauma advocate and survivor. I have had the great honor and joy of helping thousands of individuals at this point through training, services, the tools that I've developed to transform their lives. My life today is so different than it was 10 years ago. And I must let you know that it's different because 10 years ago I hit rock bottom emotionally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Now, as an AC survivor, if you've not, I'm sure most of you on, on, on the call today and those who will listen to this um, session later, 
um, you know, I'm an ACE survivor and you're probably familiar with the term um, ACEs. Now, for around three to four decades of my life, I suffered complex trauma. And what that means is that I was that little girl, probably, probably between four, five years, four to eight years old, this little girl who experienced sexual abuse from family members and strangers. And this little girl felt unloved, unworthy, and she became a teen mom who became an obese girl at 270 pounds who almost committed suicide. This teenager then transitioned over into a woman, this young adult who was attacked. And the thing about my, I can remember in, during those years is that I would always attract toxic relationships and break people, break people. And so those toxic relationships that I was in, I, I attracted them then led to where I was assaulted. I was sexually abused and spiritually abused by a faith leader. This broken young lady then became this grown woman who felt broken. I felt unloved, unwanted. And I felt like all of life came crumbling down and crashed me and crushed me. I had Bell's palsy. I suffered from Bell's palsy. I then had a near stroke death ex experience that left me crippled on the right side of my body. My smile, I didn't have a smile because Bell's palsy stole that to who you're seeing today. So during that time in my life, I felt broken. I felt, you know, like life was just out to get me, to crush me. I hated life. I hated God. And I didn't know who to trust. That was what I've been, that was my past. Fast forward, you may be asking, um, and, and during that time, too, I must say that I contracted, I contracted with life that I would not love. So I'd made some agreements and I entered some, I mean, dangerous contracts that I had to learn to uh, cut the cords to those contracts. But I remember that time in my life, I contracted with life that I don't wanna be married. I don't, I, I, I hated life. Um, you know, I gave up. I had given up on myself. Okay. And so having lived through those traumatic experiences, one might be wondering, how did I get to where I am today? Right? Get to where I am now, this devoted Christian, an amazing, vibrant, and dedicated mom and grandma to becoming a successful sought after award business leader, to becoming a self-published author. And I don't need a major book deal to honor the gift of my talents. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't need that. How did I get here? How did I get to from being this people pleaser to now this confident woman who knows who she is, knows what she wants, and go after it without having to step on anyone or without having to pull anyone down? How did I get there? How did I become this coach, this, this sought after business leader? How did I get there? It wasn't wishful thinking. It wasn't luck. Nobody handed me anything. How did I get from being the woman who the landlord, my landlord kicked me out with three kids. I was in Santa Barbara, right here in Santa Barbara, raising my three daughters. And if you know anything about Santa Barbara, it's one of the most expensive places on the West Coast. And how did I get from being kicked out of my apartment to owning my own home? How did I get there? How? I'm going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about how you can take control over your life, whether you've gone through sexual, sexual abuse, whether you've gone through spiritual abuse, financial abuse, whether you've gone through emotional abuse, whatever the abuse, the trauma that you have experienced in the past, I want you to know. And I'm going to ask all of you to unmute your phone, even if you don't want to show me your faces, that's okay. But unmute your phone and I want you to scream with me, I can. I will, I don't even want you to say can. I will achieve intentional transformation. That's that commitment I want you to make to yourself today. So unmute your phones. And after three, I want you to say, I will achieve intentional transformation. After three, one, two, three, go.
I will achieve transformation. transformation. I can hear you. Come on. Come on. I want you to hear you again. Come on. I want to feel your energy. Let's go. One, two, three. I, I will, will achieve intentional transformation. Yes, you will. You can, and you can. And you, you're going to achieve in intentional transformation. And the tools that we're going to look at today will help you to get there. So we're going to have that conversation. We're going to have a conversation about how you can take everything that you've been through. That's why I call it the thread. Because the thread, if you think about a thread, right? You can. What are some of the things that you can use a thread to do? Let me ask you. I'm not going to give you the answer. What are some things that we can use a thread? What are some transformation that we can make with a thread? Let me see how, how active you guys are with me today. What are some transformation? We can connect with a thread, yes. Come on, keep it going. What else? What are some things that we can do with a thread? Connecting a bond, bond with a thread. Yes. Think about health, health, health. What are some things you've heard of in the health field that they've done with a thread? When you have a when you have a cut, when you have a cut, they stitch you back with a thread, right? So that's why I I named this system thread, and the thread is actually a acronym. So we're going to look at that today, what this acronym stands for, right? And I also want you to know that, you know, when you talk about intentionality and your power that you have, that power of intention, right? To use this thread to heal from trauma, right? To transform, turn your trauma into transformation. And it's not a woo-woo thing. It's work. It's, it's, it's making tough decisions. It's uh, taking bold steps. It's shifting your strategy. Sometimes some of us, you know, based on the culture that we grew up in, we, we were taught one thing in our culture. And now I'm probably going to disrupt that a little bit. And you're going to be forced to shift some of the things that you've always believed to be true, because your life as it is today, it does not mirror what you know, it's a dissonance between where you are today versus what you know deep down in your heart where you're supposed to be. And we're gonna get started. So I hope you have your pens and your papers ready. We're gonna get down to work. So let's look at the six key action steps that you must take to achieve intentional transformation. Step one is the T. I want you to think outcomes. This is where you begin with the future in mind. And we're gonna work through some of these. So step one, think outcomes. Think about that future self. Who is she? Who is he? What does he look like? Where does he live? Who are his friends? What is he doing? You're thinking about that future self. And we're gonna think the outcomes. Where do I wanna be? Who do I want to be? And then you're going to have to take the steps to help you to get there. So that's step one, think outcomes. Step two, H, harvest lessons learned. Guess what, my friends? The experiences that you've been through, good, bad, in between, they've got data that you can use to transform your life. So I don't want you to waste anything until you've put all the pieces in front of you. And then you're going to make a decision. What are those pieces that I can use? I can, there's something I can learn about this assault that I've, that I've experienced. There's something in there. One of the things I always tell survivors is that, I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing. I think it's a good thing, but some people might disagree with me. But I believe that having gone through um, abuse and assault, we've been, we've been given, I don't know if we've been given or we inherited the gift of empathy. And if you agree with me, type yes, yes in the chat room. We're so empathetic. Uh, we're sensitive. We become so sensitive. We're energetic. We can pick up on energy a mile off. And when we're in a room, right? Do you notice how you can pick up folks who've gone through abuse similarly to what you've experienced? Type yes, yes, if, if, I'm, if I'm saying anything that makes sense to you. And it's simply because we've been through trauma. We become so sensitive, right? Yes, yes. 
And so I want you to see that that's data. That's data. But underneath that sensitivity and the way you arrive at that sensitivity is through your intuition. And sometimes I go back and I think through, gosh, I saw the signs when I got assaulted. I don't know. I wrote this down in my, in my book last night that I want to read for you because I didn't realize then that I know now, but I, I wrote that, um, let me find this little blurb. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. It was tough for me to heal from the trauma because of who committed the act against me. It's not, it, it's not often that you can't heal from it. It's not that you can't transform from it, but the brain is stuck in the experience of who did it. If I'm saying anything that resonates with you, type yes, yes. It's who, it's the who. Because the who stole our identity. The who in that moment, they stole our identity. And so we're stuck thinking that because they stole our identity, we now take on an unpleasant and a negative identity about ourselves. And we believe it. And we start operating as that, that rape victim, that victim, that person who got assaulted, that person who was abused by their parents, whether physically, emotionally, or you were in a relationship where you were so verbally abused. You start believing that. And the brain, let me tell you, we're going to, if you, if you're in the mentorship program, we do a deep dive into the brain. The brain was created to protect us. And so the brain likes to recreate the stories for us. It likes to recreate the experiences for us. So sometimes you might be wondering, I don't understand. I was abused by this person. Why do I still care about them? Have you ever, have you ever had that experience before where you're like, how come that, that doesn't make sense? Or yeah, right. I've had that experience where, yeah, I've had that experience where there are several individuals who've, I mean, abused me, I mean, abused me. And I, I, I don't understand why do I, not that I love them at all, and I've not forgotten what happened to me, but that gift of empathy, it's a gift. And right now, I know maybe a lot of you have abandoned that gift, and maybe you found yourself in some repetitive cycles because you have not honored the fact that you are empathetic. In fact, it took me years to say I was an empath because I thought it wasn't Christian, but that isn't true. So if you're an empath here today, I want you to type, I am an empath and I'm proud of it. Type that you're an empath because it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's honoring that gift that you've been given because you've gone through that experience. And now I'm going to teach you how to tap into that gift and how to tap into your intuition because your intuition is what provides you with that roadmap, who to trust, who to bring into your life, who not to trust. But you've got to embrace the fact that you are an empathetic person with a strong intuition and your intuition will help to guide you to becoming more intentional. Now, let's go to step uh, three. And <clears throat> sorry, step three is now that you've examined some data from your past you're now going to put them in front of you and you're going to release them. So we're gonna look at a tool that you can use to release the things that no longer serve your highest good. And then step four is where you enlist allies. Now we're gonna look for resources and we're going to build new relationships and be part of new communities and maybe sign up for a new program or go to coaching or mentorship. We're going to get the resources, the value added resources that will help you to become, you remember in step one, when you think outcomes of who you wanna become, you're gonna acquire those resources and tools to help you get there. And then step five is all about mindset management. 
how do I develop a growth mindset that is aligned with this transformed self that I've envisioned? And then step six is where I walk you through how to design your success, this roadmap with milestones of the goals that you want to achieve. And we're going to work together in partnership to achieve intentional transformation. So let's dig a little bit deeper. So if I'm saying anything that resonate with you, if you have any question for me before we dig a little bit deeper into the tool, I welcome any questions you may have of me. Any questions, any comments? Is what I'm saying resonating with you guys? You can unmute, you can, you can type in the chat room. I love to hear your voices. Talk to me. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Good. I'm happy to hear that, Isabel. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to do some work. I want you, so for step one, to think about who you want to become. Even the kids are saying yes, yes in the background. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> so I want you now, we're going to do some work. So grab your pen and your papers, or you can type in the chat room. In step one, I want you to think now about who you want to become. So we're going to begin with the future in mind. I want you to ask yourself this question. I'm not going to go through all the questions because we don't have enough time today, but I want you to ask yourself this question. Who do I want to become? So write that down, that's step one. Who do I want to become? Then I want you to ask yourself, what gets me excited? But we're going to focus on who you want to become today. Now, go ahead and choose five powerful descriptive words that sum up the woman or the man you want to become. So five powerful words. So some of the words could be inspirational, successful, healthy, healed, you know, happy, shrewd, brave, courageous. Pick five words, powerful words. I don't want you to pick words that you're like, you're not, it doesn't, it's not energetic enough. It's not, you know, powerful. Like you're like, oh, just pick them because of, pick five powerful words that even scare you. No negative words, no. Five powerful, positive words that describe that woman or that man that you want to become. So I want you to take two minutes. Think about that woman, that man. Who is she? Who is he? Who is he? Is he a uh, New York Times bestselling author? Is he a successful entrepreneur? Is he cancer free? Is he, she, uh, you know, a happily married woman or man? Who is this person? And if you have it ready, those five words that you want to share with us, go ahead and unmute your phone or put it. I want to hear your voices. Talk to me. I want to hear you guys. You know how we are empathic. I'm an extroverted empath. So I get the energy from people when I interact with them. So share with me who will be brave to share those five words that describe the man or the woman that you envision yourself to be. Leilani, I'll go. My name is Kimball. I'll Hi, go. Kimball. Okay. I wrote down I'm strong. I'm understanding, yes. I'm independent, I'm smart, and I'm loved. I love those words. Oh, I got goosebumps. Strong, <laughs> smart, independent, love. What's the other one? There's one more I missed. Understanding. Understanding. Yes, 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 yes. So write them down. Did you write them down? Yes. Good. We we'll keep them there. We're gonna we're gonna use them later. Okay, thanks for sharing, Kimba. Who else? Who else will be the brave soul to share? Go ahead, Stephen. I see that oh, you're go muted. Next. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen. So Hi, my Stephen. five words of um, powerful affirmations is I'm a hustler. I'm mm -hmm. successful. Mm -hmm. I'm indestructible. I'm loved. And I'm worthy. Woo! Goosebumps again. Huh? Oh, my God. You guys are goosing me over here. All right. Hustler successful, your love, your in, give me the in this, what's that word? Indestructible? Indestructible, yes. I love that one. I missed one. What's the other word? Uh, loved and worthy. I, worthy. Oh, I could, might drop. Worthy. I want you, all of us to own that. Type it, say it. 
because that's a big one. Two big, three big ones, I think, are, well, they're all big words, but we don't tell ourselves often enough that I'm worthy. I'm successful. So I want you to own those words. So now that you've said it, I want you to own them now. So go ahead. Those words that you've written down, let me see if I missed any in the chat room. Is there anyone else who would like to share before we start? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run through all these words I heard. Um, is there anyone else who would like to share? I can go. Yes. Sure. Firm in faith. Firm in faith, solid, successful, wealthy. And that's body, mind, spirit, all of me, wealth and whole. Oh, wait. So I have um, firm in faith, solid, wealthy. What's the other one? Successful and whole. Successful and whole. I love it. I'm goosing over here. Yes, 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 yes. Before I go on, am I missing anyone? Is there anyone else who would like to share? Because I'm going to run through all of these words and we're going to affirm them. Because we don't affirm them. We affirm the negative experiences that we've been through so many times. We go over and over and over again in our minds. But I want us to get in the habit of repeating what's true about us, the transformed self. So let's say that my transformed self, Stephen, I want you to unmute. I'm going to start with you. So I want you to say my transformed self. My transformed self is. Is. So run down, say them now. You're a hustler. Hustler. Mm -hmm. Successful. Mm -hmm. And destructible. Mm -hmm. Loved mm -hmm. and worthy. Awesome. Great. Go ahead, Kimball, and unmute yourself and go ahead and say, my transformed self is. My transformed self is strong, understanding, independent, smart, and loved. Great. Vanessa, go ahead and unmute yourself. My transformed self is. All right, I'm going to do it, but I've just been inspired to, I, I, I may have uh, changed a few. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can so, change it. <laughs> yes, honey, my transformed self is impactful, intuitive, successful, solid, and firm in faith. I love it. Awesome. Remember who you say you want to become. Now, I want those five words, and you can change them at any time, but those five words that you've used to describe yourself, I want you to write them on, hold on a second, because um, Zoom is forcing me to, to upgrade my account. Hold on, because I'm not going to end my session right now. Oh, hold on. Oh, boy. Just hold on a second. I want you to... Um, write those five words down, save and continue. Hold on. Hold on a second. Not in the middle. I have not been on that long. I didn't know I was on that long. Okay. So you write those five. Are you guys still hearing me? Yes. Okay, great. So you write those five words down on a post-it note and put it somewhere, either you put it in your, in your purse, but put it 